Oh my god, we're already knocking stuff down. And I'm being choked. Hey guys, what's up? It is Sarah with the Unleashed Beauty. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today we're going to do the Not My Arms Challenge Makeup Edition. So I've got my handy dandy arm helper here, and we are ready to get started. Okay, so we're gonna go in first with um, foundation. Okay, so this is the Maybelline Fit Me. <laughs> uh, put, what is this called? Hold on, turn it around, turn it around. There we go. The Matte and Poreless, there we go. The Matte and Poreless in the shade 112, which is um, natural ivory. And the cap is off, okay, great. And we are gonna apply this today with Oh, we're going to go ahead and pour this out on the on the back of the hand because that's how we do. Just going to tap a little, a little bit more of that out. Just a little bit. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, that might be a little much, but we're going for real heavy coverage today. We're going to apply this with a beauty blender. It is a nice damp beauty blender. So I'm just picking up a little product, just swirling it around in there, really getting into it. Oh, and I'm going to dab off the excess on my hand, and now we're just going to start smushing it around. On the <laughs> smushing it all over the face. Applying this. Oh, it's so nice. Look at that color. It's a great match. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you get it clear up under the eye. And we're kind of patting, but also rubbing and wiping. But <laughs> <laughs> you have to make sure you get the lips good to give a nice base for your lipstick. Okay. Oh, she's looking. She's looking good. We are making progress. Got to do the forehead now. Just make sure that you get that all evenly applied and blended out and it's a good thing we applied so much product to the back of the hand so I don't have to go in and get any extra now make sure that you get that clear over into the hairline it's okay if you get it in your hair a little bit it'll buff out and we're just blending I love this you know using that little bouncy motion to really pounce that product onto the skin Make sure you get it under the eye, and we're just getting everything nice and evenly blended out right along the nose, in between those brows. We are doing great. Oh yeah, make sure you get in those little cracks on the side of the nose. We also need to make sure that we, um, once we get this applied on the face the way we like it, blend down the neck so that we don't get that mask look. We want to make sure the foundation is all nice and blended and travels down the neck as well. Just like this. So easy, you guys. So easy to do. <laughs> okay. And again, I'm just blending with that nice little pouncing motion. Making sure we've got even coverage. So far this is looking great, isn't it? Well, next up you guys, we're gonna do some concealer. So we're gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Fair Neutral. I'm just gonna twist it open. Oh yes, little Vanna White moment, of course. Really have to showcase these products. All right, and so we are just taking a look at this doe foot applicator, and now we're gonna go ahead and begin by applying this under the eye. Just ever so slightly, there we go. Oh, that's gonna be great. Yes, and you wanna use that triangle shape, triangle of light, really bring light into these areas. Take your time with it, don't be scared to to take a little bit extra time and go slow. Sometimes that's just the best way to do it. 
And we're also going to highlight the forehead, kind of in between those brows. And all, we're also going to bring that. <laughs> okay, oh, we got the forehead, and now we're going to do the center of the nose. <laughs> just paint it on the tip there, just like that. That's perfect. And then how about the chin? We'll just kind of pop it all over the chin, just to make sure we've really got it good. Okay, so, oh, oh. It's almost a hole in one. All right, so we're done with concealer. Now we have to blend that out. So we're gonna go back to the Beauty Blender. And this is, again, a damp sponge. And we're just gonna start blending out that concealer. Oh my goodness. It helps if you kind of feel your face a little bit. You know, you don't wanna lose your nose. <laughs> you don't wanna lose that nose in the process. So we're just gonna keep blending keep blending oh yeah you got to blend it clear over to the ear it's very important that you take that concealer all the way over to the ear and really get him get in that corner of the eye and nose doing great doing great okay oh we're gonna blend the chin next just oh <laughs> just blending the chin with that nice bouncing motion oh it feels so nice Okay, now we're going to go ahead and blend the other eye. Oh, don't want to lose the nose. Can't lose that nose. And we are just blending out all that concealer. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just think you've got it blended, but maybe you don't. You just have to go in a little extra. We are just, oh, we're doing a great job with that bouncing motion, but sometimes you got to get a little rough with it and do it, do some dragging in there too. Oh, and on the nose, you got to drag that nose. Okay. <laughs> Had to make sure that we were looking good for the camera. <laughs> oh, and now we have to blend the forehead. You don't want to leave any of these spots unblended. You have to make sure that you really get in there and get it all done. <laughs> it seems so weird. Okay. Are we good? Are we blended? How's it look? I think we are looking nice and bright and highlighted. I saw a spot there. We had to get in a little more. And it helps if you use your other hand like this and just kind of poke around and make sure things feel right to you. You know, some people say don't touch your face, but... They've never had a really good blend, apparently, because if you want to blend it out properly, you have to get in there and do some poking around. Okay, we are good. So, the next step is going to be to use a little bit of setting, oh, no, we're going to go, bron nope, setting powder. We're going to use setting powder and set under these eyes. So this is my Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder from Unique, and we'll use that one next. Get right into it and I'm gonna be using just a big fluffy powder brush for this one okay we got picked up a little bit of that powder and now we're just gonna put it right under the eye very gently and carefully <laughs> just tapping we don't we don't bake over here on this channel right so we're just going very lightly with this powder. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do the other eye. Oh, no, we, okay, yes, now we'll do the other eye. Just a little dabble, do ya? Okay, let's go ahead and set the rest of that concealer. So we need to do the forehead and the nose and the chin as well. <laughs> and right in the eyeball. Oh, Lordy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, the eyebrows too. Mm -hmm. You don't want oily eyebrows, so you might as well get a little, get a little setting powder and just kind of mat those down a little. It'll really help our brow product stick. And we're going to get into that here shortly. Okay. And we are almost set here. Got that chin. 
We're going to set our, our foundation on our lips. That was a good call. Oh, yeah, let me just get that right off of there. A little on the top, too. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now, you guys, we're going to go in next with some bronzer. I'm going to use my beachfront bronzer in the color Sunset. Again, from Unique. You just pop that open. It can be a little tricky. It's a little hard to get into sometimes. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and use a powder concealer brush. And we're going to use the powder end. And we're just going to make sure that we've got this jawline carved out next. Because a salad face is much better than a cheeseburger face. So you just carve out that jawline. And it's going to slim you right down. You are going to look trim and chiseled. Blend that down the neck so you don't leave your line of bronzer. You want everything to look nice and natural. <clears throat> oh, shirt. It's a little uncomfortable today. Okay, and now we're going to do our jawline on the other side. Just scrubbing it in there just like we did on our forehead. You know, some people like to use a light touch, but it's, it's just whatever works best for you. And today I just feel like really putting some, putting some strength into that blend is just helping us get this on a little smoother. <laughs> look at that. Would you look at that? <laughs> and we're just blending that right out. I think we look good. What do you guys think? Okay, next up is going to be blusher. And this is the Moodstruck Pressed Blusher from Unique in the shade Sweet. We're just going to pop that baby open. Pop it open. Okay, and to apply this one, we're just going to go in with a blusher brush. And just tap right down in. Just picking up a little bit. This one's pretty pigmented. So we're going to apply this straight onto the apples of the cheeks and then blend it out towards the hairline. Just applying right on. Oh yeah, there we go. Just swiping it right on. Blending as we go. Bringing a little color back to this complexion. <laughs> it helps if you put your hand down so that you can kind of guide your way. <laughs> oh, that is looking good. You know, blending clear up to the nose like that is really just going to make those cheekbones pop. Move on to the other side now. <laughs> Again, you have to feel your way sometimes and that's okay. Just kind of helps you figure out your placement if you can really get hands on with it. And we are just blending out this blusher it's looking great. Oh my, where else do I need blusher? Are we, we've about got it. We're just applying a little more here just to make sure we've evened that up on both sides. Looks good, doesn't it? Okay guys, and now it's time for brows. We're gonna skip the highlight. Oh, let me just fluff up my hair a bit. It's wash day and I didn't do much with it, so. All right, we are going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Liner in the color dark brown. So I've opened up both ends, the liner end and the spoolie side, but we don't need that spoolie. We're just going full in with the liner. Just twist that up a bit. Make sure we've got some some product ready to go and then you have to kind of put your hand up there and feel around on those brows to know where you're really getting started. We're going to start on the inner corner of the eyebrow and you know some, <laughs> some people don't like it that unibrow look but there we go. We just swipe it away. If you're not happy with it just use your fingers and swipe it away. All right, again, using our finger as a guide. And we're just going to start coloring in that brow. 
especially there on the ends. Oh, we're gonna line it. <laughs> there we go, just lining right under that brow, really giving it some definition. <laughs> that is, that's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna find the top. And make sure we've got that inner corner. And then we're just gonna go ahead and move on to, oh, okay, oh, we're gonna use the spoolie and comb it out. Just go ahead and give it a quick comb through and blend that product right into your natural brow. It'll be looking great. All right, now for the other eye. We're gonna twist up a little more product. And we're going to start on the inside of the brow and we're just going to start filling that baby in. There we go. The beauty of this pencil is you can lay it down on its side and it gives you a nice thick line that really gets into those brows. Oh, now we had to make a match. You can't be walking around with mismatched brows, right? They don't have to be perfect because brows are sisters, not twins. But y'all, they at least need to look like they're related or maybe that they even know each other, okay? All right, oh, they are looking great. Nice and natural. I love a good natural brow. Okay, next up you guys, we are gonna go in with a highlight. This is one of my favorites. This is the Ofra collaboration with Nikki Tutorials in the color Glazed Donut. And we're just going to use a fan brush to lay right in there and pick up some of this highlight. And we're going to go in right to the tops of the cheekbones. Helps again. You just have to kind of feel around. Figure out what you're doing. And, and you know, if you just, there we go. There we go. Just go right in on those cheekbones. Very light touch for this. Oh, and we're just, we really want to sparkle today. So we're just kind of dragging that clear down the face so we've got a nice little glow. Okay. There we go. Now we're getting down to business. Now we're going to go back in <laughs> and pick up a little more product for the other side. And we're just going to start lightly blending this out. Oh, and we want to bring it, there we go. Again, we're going to bring that all the way down the face just so we've got that nice little bit of a glow. Got a little, little of it in our hair. We're just going to be sparkling everywhere. Shine into the heavens. Oh. <laughs> and now we're going to do the nose. We're just... Yeah, we're just going to kind of go all over the nose. We're just going for that really glowy look today. And the Cupid's bow. We like to pat that on. <laughs> Little on the forehead and you are good. Look at that highlight. Beautiful. For eyeshadow today, you guys, we are going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume Number 2 Palette. You guys saw this one. If you caught my Jaclyn Hill Palette review that I did the other day, last week, something like that. If you haven't, I will throw a card in so you guys can check it out. And we are going to go in first with the color positivity. I actually really love this color. So we decided that today brushes are just optional. I'm just going to go right in with my finger here. We're going to make sure we pick up a lot of that one. This is a nice opaque kind of a kind of a neon watermelon shade. And we're just going to go in all over the whole lid with this one. It's just so beautiful. This color is going to be perfect for spring, and this application is so on trend. Okay, and we're just 
Getting that blended out with our finger. Sometimes a finger is all you need for these looks. Okay, now we're going to go into positivity again. And we're going to get it on the other eye. Same thing. We're just going in big all over the lid. And just blending that out. Look at how much pigment is in these shadows. And we I didn't even have to use a primer today. And we're going to pat that on this time. Just giving it a softer look with that patting effect. See how the way that we applied the shadow on this eye left us with these kind of zebra stripes on the outside edge? It's a really great graphic look, but it also works well for blending. Look at that. Okay, next up we're going to go in with... Oh, let me clean off my fingers here. I don't want to con cross-contaminate my colors. Hmm, let's go ahead and do... Oh, that one is called... Oh, get ready with me. G-R-W-M. This nice, pretty, kind of bronzy shimmer color. Again, just picking that up with my finger and putting that kind of on the inner corner of the lid, blending it up a little bit towards the crease. That's a nice look, isn't it? So good, so good. Going back to the Get Ready With Me, the GRMW, and we're gonna do other eye. Make sure you really get it in that inner corner. Sometimes, you know, you might worry about hurting yourself, but <laughs> it's just an eye. You know, you've got two of them. Okay, how we looking? So far, so good. That inner corner highlight is popping. Okay, now then. Oh, I dropped my palette. <laughs> Oh my god okay um let's do uh we're gonna use some certified this color is actually really nice you would think it would be um pretty soft but it's very very um pigmented very opaque for being like that light kind of vanilla nude white tone so we're gonna use that to highlight right under the brow there we go look at that ah this look so good This other eye done. Oh, pick up a little bit more here. Gotta make sure we get that right under the brow. There we go. Okay, and we are getting that. Oh, just rub it in. You gotta really rub it in there. Look at that blend. So good. Oh, and then, you know, sometimes you can just blend it clear across the, the middle in between those brows too, and it, it works. It works. Oh, now we're going to use some, I'm not sure if you say this is Talia or Talia, but it's that gold kind of metallic-y tone. Let's use that next. And we're just tapping our finger right in to pick that up. Okay. And we're going to put it on the inner corner. Oh, that's going to give us some more sparkle right on the inner corner of that eye. A little bit of gold highlight there. That's great. Okay. Oh, here we go. This one, we've got to get on that inner corner over here. <laughs> there we got it. Perfection. Okay. Now, oh, my headband. Oh, there we go. All right. Make sure I'm still cute. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do some mascara next, you guys. So this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And we are just going to twist that top open. Oh, we're going to pump it. You know, some people say don't pump your mascara wand, but we're just, we're going it. We're going in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, carefully, I'm going to start with closed eyes here. And... There we go. We're going to hold our other eye down just for a little leverage. And we're going to start swiping this right onto those lashes. They're real. Look at that. That is a nice lash. OK. 
Okay, going in for a second layer here. Second coat. They are looking good so far. Okay, now the other eye. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to get your other eye, but if you just switch your hand a little, <laughs> you, uh, oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. All right. We're just going to brace myself for this one because it's getting intense. Again, I've got that other hand up here for some extra leverage. And I'm just gently applying my mascara to the lashes. There we go. Oh, got a little, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I'll I better close my eye here. Just keep it closed. Some people like to apply their mascara with their eyes open. And you know, if that's your thing, kudos to you. But I like to keep mine closed. I feel like I can just get a little, little more accuracy <clears throat> with a closed eye. All right, you guys, let's finish this look out with a lip today. We're going to use the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the color Calabasas. This is probably my favorite color of liquid lipstick that I own. And it's going to look great with this eye look, too. So, I'm just going to go in. Again, if you can feel your way around, that seems to help. Oh, and look, it works as a nail polish, too. And a tooth polish. We are doing well. Just trying to get real precise. Overlining a little. I really like that Kylie Jenner lip look. That is just such a nice color. Oh, and then we're going to use our finger and just kind of blot that down a little bit. Take off any excess product. And wipe. Oh, look at that. I told you doubles is a nail polish. So nice. Okay, so we're going to go in next with Jeffree Star's The Gloss in Wizard's Glass. This is from the Bloodlust line. And we just need a little sparkle. So this will be a good one. It's going to have, oh, look at that. A little bit of a blue, purpley tone to it. But just a little bit goes a long way. It feels so nice on. Look at that lip. Oh my goodness. You guys, what do you think of this look? I love it. So gorgeous. Perfect for spring and summer. I just feel so pretty right now. Let me know down in the comment section <laughs> what you guys think about this look. And if you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Also, if you guys do not already subscribe to this channel, be sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring your notifications bell so that you never miss a new upload. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Be kind to one another. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.